Hello and welcome to Turret Baffler. This is my own work in progress Godot project and while the current version, the version 0.1, is going to be a free demo, I am planning to turn this into my first commercial game. It's a stealth shooter where you help an allied NPC get past cameras, turrets, tripwires, that sort of thing. Well, let's get into it. We're going to start each level with a little cutscene where the two characters, Sadmuk and Rania, bicker with each other, set up the level, and so on. You can skip these, but I'm not going to bother. It should be done. In So each level is split into two separate parts. Planning phase, which is what you see on the screen now, and an action phase, which will come later. You don't actually have to select anything here, you can just go with the defaults, which in this case are start brand new start and exit points are over here where the two floating bubbles are. I'm using these see-through cones and I'll call them bubbles just to mark things out. You'll be starting up here though you can choose a few other other places. I'll just cycle through those now. So moved over there. Or over here. Or back to the original. Marking where the target is. Outdoors. In the rain. Of course. And this is the action phase. Now, in the previous game, a previous version, you could change ammo by by moving the mouse wheel up. That's no longer a thing, even though the, it still is on the screen. Minor typo, I'm not bothered to fix that. So instead, you can see the little glowing... I'll call it a crosshair dot. Yeah, call it a crosshair, just showing roughly where you're aiming. As you can see, it's a little bit inaccurate, but it's good enough. So, you can see the little thing over there, the tripwire. There's also cameras over there. Your job is basically to disable these so Rania can get past them. And here we go. So let's wait before this guy goes past. Shooting guards is possible, but I wouldn't recommend it because they're going to notice. This guy's not doing sh anything, he's lazy. Now, I've just disabled that, ca that camera there, and you can see the detection chance has increased in the top right corner. Basically, the um, when, you when you disable electronic surveillance, some of the guards are going to notice, like, cameras glitching out. Trip bars over there. Yeah. And you can just see the pathfinding is a little bit bit janky. There's not much I can really do about that. It's just a thing with Godot that I'm kind of stuck with. But anyway, increasing, um, disabling certain, well, them certain traps will make the guards suspect that something has gone wrong. As in, if cameras start glitching out, they're going to investigate after a while. If a camera spots you, they'll go and investigate that. And later on, I'm planning to add things like turrets that will definitely attract attention because they're going to start shooting in random directions or even just looking the wrong way. Which is, originally this project was inspired by a bug in a project I did a few years ago where if you approach automated turrets from, say, their left, they point in the opposite direction and be unable to shoot. Very silly bug, one that amused me, but I ended up fixing it that time around. This time, I'm turning it into a full game. So that was the initial demo. Like, at the moment, it's just the what first level. It's just this first level slash tutorial slash demo. You get where I'm going with this. So if you like this, feel free to give it a try yourself and follow me on ver on various um, links. At the moment, I'm uploading this to my own site. For now, I am planning to add this to Steam, HLAO, possibly Game Jolt as well later. But that's a while away, and if you like this, give it a try. Tell me what you think. I'll see you for now. Bye.